Welcome guys to Woodworks LLC. It's where I'm going to have everything to do with wood. This business that I'm first starting up, we're going to do tree nurseries. We're going to be tree removal. We're going to do log splitting, everything. We're going to be harvesting timber, like everything guys. That's what we're going to be doing here. And we're starting with a small loan of a million dollars. No, I'm kidding. We have a little under $600,000 and we're going to take from nothing. I already bought the land. I guess we have the land which is all the way over here. We're on Ravenport as well. So this is going to be a series where we're going to do everything from the bottom up. I do have mods in this. It's kind of a throwback to a series I did right when I started this channel. And I had a skid loader, a log fork, and a chainsaw. And I ran around for about 20 episodes trying to make as much money as I could. And you guys seem to really enjoy that. So that's what we're doing here. First episode. Welcome, guys. Thank you all so much for so much for hanging out being on the channel and i think this is going to be good refreshing series for us after the tournament which i'll have a recap video coming over that very shortly and uh right now first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to pick the truck for my business and it's going to be a truck that's got to get dirty it can't be afraid of you know reaching down if we need to hook a chain up to rip a stump out it's i was looking around i was i have absolutely i have every single mod I've ever downloaded in this game right now. So I'm able to pick through, kind of sift through, and I think I think I already picked one. I was either gonna go with the first gen Cummins flatbed, which is a pretty clean truck. It oh, I like the flatbed. But also you wanna throw you know once in a while I'm gonna be able to, I'm, I'm gonna need to throw some wood in the back too. So I was gonna go with the 70 F two fifty Ford and we'll, we'll kind of design it here with you guys we'll do we'll for sure get the fifth wheel attachment not sure if i'm going to need it but i'm just going to get it just in case once we once we you know start to expand so i'm going to go with the fuel bullet holes or the swampers i'm i don't want to do the swampers I might go with the bolt holes they're a bit cleaner i don't think i need like it'll be nice to take it off i'm going to be fine off road and then i'm going to go matte black looks so the oxen oxen it looks so clean now that, that's pretty nice too i think I'm, we're gonna go with that a unique color all right so twenty-five thousand dollars out the hole already now our first piece of forestry equipment will probably be the chainsaw that would make sense so i'm either, either gonna go with steel husqvarna or steel or husqvarna and i'm gonna go with steel i know it's generic it's american and like i don't know if i think husqvarna is american too or no it's not but steel steel is a good company i've used it a bunch so then we're gonna go to forestry equipment and the first piece of like actual force equipment we're going to buy besides the chainsaw is going to be the log splitter. So we're going to go ahead and purchase the log splitter, 3,500 bucks, not cheap. And then our first tractor. And that's about all the buying we're going to do in today's episode. And I'm going to, I, I'm, I don't know. It's tough. I was either going to go, I don't know. I'm going to need a small tractor on the farm. That's going to be able to pull out, you know, some small trees on chains. We're going to need it to hook up to the log splitter. Of course, not too big just yet. So you're going to go with the, the Fiat, the, the 1300 DT 60 grand, not cheap. Or I was going to go with the smaller, you know, maybe like the KC 66 series, you know, fairly small tractor. I think this is going to work pretty good too. They're, the old ones are made so good too. They're gonna be so strong. This is probably a little too big for us. And I really enjoy that as no cab. Easy in and out when we gotta jump off. Uh, gonna use this for log splitting, so you don't really want the cab. I wanna be able to look here and get on and off very easily. So open station, uh, what is this? Yeah, we're just gonna have the open station. Nope. Oh my God, there's so many little designs. All right, open station. Uh, don't need the chrome exhaust. All right, just stock. Engine. We'll bump it up just a bit. We got a 1066. Uh, I don't need the duels. What? You could have two on one side? Left side plow. Oh, plow duel. Okay. Uh, single row crop. Maybe a little wider there. Uh, let's just go generic. So there we go. $22,000 later. So yeah, right now, guys, we're just, we're just setting up the farm. Right now, this is all I have. I have the land. I have my truck, my log splitter. First, we're going to do firewood. We're going to specialize in firewood, and it's going to be, you know, really good firewood. We're going to...
premium firewood where only the best gas stations in town can have us all have craigslist posts oh my goodness and we're just starting out so i'm gonna i'm gonna try and get the word out i'm gonna go to every gas station i can i'm gonna put every ad i can on every po post every flyer everywhere we're gonna try and get the name out we're gonna try and get the word out and start to really expand our business so we're gonna use minimal mods very very smaller small mods i'm probably gonna knock our money down to about fifty thousand dollars here once i kind of get most of our equipment purchased uh nba it, guys this here is gonna try and be as realistic as possible i'll 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 be learning a lot about you know kind of the tree industry the wood industry it will go from tree services like i said tree removal stump removal we'll be harvesting the tree itself for its for its wood all the different types and we'll be we'll, we'll be trying to do everything to make as much money as possible and to just be a successful business and stay stay running pretty much is our plan so we got the uh we got the case here we're heading down to the farm gonna show you guys we got to set up our building we have to do a little bit of landscaping and uh kind of think about how we're gonna do everything in terms of the tree nursery and and just everything so very exciting please please hit the like button if you guys are gonna be enjoying this series if you like this kind of idea let me know what you think in the comments so i'll be down there talking to you guys and let's uh i'll see you guys when we drive down the f-250 i think i picked the right color i think it looks really really clean and it's it's gonna be a really good work truck it'll be we'll use it from everything to pulling a tree out pulling a stump out dragging trees across the yard just just moving things it's gonna do really really good and it'll, it'll also be my daily driver but i'm gonna live on on the land here and we gotta actually get my house down we gotta get everything down we'll just shut her down right there so let's go ahead go to placeables and i just need to do some exploring wool Guys, we're going to get everything. We'll, we'll have our own wooden fences down the road, but this is going to be a series, and it's going to be multi-episodes of me trying to build up our farm, make it the best I possibly can. So let's figure out these placeables. All right, so we kind of kept the rustic look here on the farm, and I bought two pretty nice, pretty good size. Small, but, you know, very cute, kind of charming. And, of course, we got we got the we got the table saw there, and then we got a pile of, of cut wood, and it's going to be pretty rustic. We're going to be living, you know on our own means in in really trying to work our way up the ladder so right now we're at the bottom of the ladder see that ladder right over there we're at the bottom and we're trying to get to the roof we're trying to get to the top and it just doesn't let us right now so we're starting with low money i will probably lower it back down and then we'll make a few more purchases might have to borrow some money and then other than that we two one big thing i really want to get is probably a skid loader eventually with log forks so we can start running bigger logs i got to get some chains we got to get all that stuff kind of figured out but right now we are just in setup mode absolute just trying to set up trying to get as much as we can done right now personally i think it looks really really good i like our tractor our truck our our area is huge we're gonna have tree nursery on both fields over actually we own all of these three fields don't own over there just yet and then i put my uh my log house here as well so it's kind of spread out i like that because it's room for room for growing and you don't want to be too close so here's the log house and then we have the two nice little red sheds over there so very clean i guess no it's not that clean it's kind of i got like bushes everywhere and stuff but not bad at all so i'm gonna head to the store i need to buy a winch a chain uh a hook for logs just because I already have a few calls in already. We're gonna be doing some tree remo tree removals. Obviously, I need to kind of drag them around. I I told the owner like, right now we're really low price guys. We don't have the best equipment. Obviously, we don't have a lot of equipment, so we need to kind of price ourselves accordingly. And we aren't the best company. We know that. So I gave him a little bit of a uh, of a price cut, of a job cut, and and I told him like, hey, I'm not gonna have the best equipment. All I really got right now is a tow winch, the truck, tractor and we'll be able to kind of rip it out of there drag her down the road um what i'm also going to do is we'll get some planners we'll get that going and maybe like a smaller trailer so i can put you know the smaller logs on bring them back for firewood so all of our jobs most of our jobs we if it's good salvageable wood and say like lightning hit a tree half the trees obviously and if we can save salvage a lot of it we for sure will so there we go go ahead attach to the winch me weighing me down a bit and then we'll get there's the hook as well so got the hook in the winch i'm gonna go ahead and head back i'm gonna get a small tree planter and maybe a small plow and we'll try and get that going on it just one of our fields kind of think about getting the nursery going but still lots to do 
and then tomorrow I have our first big job which the guy said two of his trees are dying so obviously again dead trees trees that are damaged aren't able to salvageable we won't we won't use them as firewood but once we do we'll bring them back we'll split them we'll get that going I you guys might be like why don't you use I like an axe like a real man well I'm gonna use the hydraulic splitter because you know this is a business we need to keep things rolling I'm not the strongest guy in the world oh okay there we go all right the winch is a little heavier than I thought and I think we're, we're for sure gonna need it so here we go I think the place already looks pretty good we got the American flag came with the land of course there we go go ahead pull in and then I'll drive the tractor down I want to get a small plow we'll get plowing the smaller field there and then I need to get a planter as well yeah, tomorrow's job. It's looking. I I priced them at three hundred bucks for. I thought it was super cheap. It sounds like pretty easy work. I just still need to get a trailer for the truck and a few other things, which I'll have ready for sure by tomorrow. And let's go ahead. Let's go forestry equipment. Where's my little tree planter? We'll have the planter there. I'm just kind of looking. We're gonna need some stump grinders down the road too. That's what we bought today. First things first, though. We do need the plow. We need to get it ripped up. Where's my plow plow? Just heading back with the plow. This might be a little too big for the tractor, but hopefully with the engine upgrade that I purchased on it, it should be able to handle it just fine. Yeah, we should be able to handle it. I maybe should have thrown duels on it, but we got 126 horse and this is recommended about 80 to 86. We should be fine. Uh, I don't have weights on the front right now. I probably could have picked some up too but again guys we are on a budget even though our bank account looks like that we really don't have that much a lot of that is borrowed money that i'm actually repaying um i just we aren't going to spend it i'm not going to put ourselves into that much of debt and we'll, yeah i, I don't want to have that much of debt so we are going to go back over here get this planted up got our planner and we'll start planning probably tomorrow after we get done new planning is we're gonna see how we're gonna see how planning goes i want to start that nursery i want to get the seed in the ground want to get her get her going and that's gonna be so we're gonna have we're gonna try and get five streams of revenue guys we're gonna try sell some more wood for fuel production we're gonna sell wood for i guess fuel kind of counts as like log splitting and then we're gonna do the the tree nursery and, and lots more guys so lots more going and i might do some woodworking as well in terms of furniture or kind of sell pieces of wood that then a uh, homeowner could then put together like at least refinish the wood get the boards ready and then maybe they just kind of screw it together and make the furniture but i always thought that would be so something interesting to do and you could really sell it for top dollar so there's some what even is planted right here we got cotton growing i don't want cotton it's not a tree so we're going to go ahead and rip this field up real quick it shouldn't take too long fairly small field there we are we're able to handle it just fine so we got a four four row plow there we got our first pass in the case seems to be able to handle it you know just fine so should probably set this up a little better here we go a little first person action here fields fairly small and i think the case is going to rip through it just fine so i'm going to go ahead go back on another pass it was it wasn't easy but it wasn't didn't feel like I was hurting the tractor too bad. There we are. I like it, boys. I like it a lot. We got the log splitter. We got the plow. Planters back at the shop. We placed down our house. Our two sheds. I missed a spot back there. Don't worry, guys. I'll get that. And now we're ripping it up. So I'm officially a farmer. I, I Initially, you don't think of somebody. I guess we have our nursery. But you don't think of you know somebody who does, who harvests wood as farmers more. It is agriculture. If you think about it, like logging is agriculture, but you don't, you call them loggers, not farmers, but I guess I'm a farmer. I feel like a farmer, at least right now. So we're, we're going to be doing that. Let me go ahead and run a time lapse here, guys, and I'll see you once we're done with the field.
got done with the field there. It looks really, really clean, ready to ready to get the saplings in. So we just got, I ordered it from the shop. I, I went down there uh, and I went down there before when I bought the plow and I was like, hey, can I get an order? And they're like, yeah, it's, uh, we can get the saplings ready. And I was like, okay, I need to, you know, start plowing and stuff. So they just, they delivered it for free, super nice. And uh, yeah, so we have 80 saplings, I believe, 20 per, per pallet there. So we're gonna go ahead and plant these. I think it's gonna work out good in just this field. We'll see how that works out. Get those planted tomorrow and we'll have some baby trees growing that'll be a lot of fun we'll keep it going and let me know what else uh you guys want me to do on this series obviously I have a bunch more planned but any feedback and everything is always super appreciated welcome to woodworks llc we episode one in the books a lot more to go that money i'm, I'm probably going to take it down to like ten thousand dollars we're going to be dirt poor we're gonna have no money and yeah so thank you all so much for watching hit the like button and i'll see you on the next one